Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This week's vlog is about streaming and getting adapted to new tools. I don't mean necessarily web tools, I mean the things that I bought uh, recently and I'm trying to put into practice the position of the lighting, the position of the cell phone. I also got myself an ISO and I'm trying just to figure it out the best way to record it. And I did a test, I thought the lighting was okay, I thought the position was okay, and well, I guess I'm not trained enough yet on the test to make, because I decided to start painting, I got so much involved with the painting that I didn't, I didn't think about stopping for a while in the middle to check how it was. I thought it was good before, I didn't think I was going to have any surprise, but in the middle, when I had a good portion of the portrait with the ink applied, because the ink wet reflects a lot, I had a lot of glare and shine, and it wasn't the good kind of shine. You can barely see the details of the painting. That was a little sad, but everything is about experience. If you see this video, it's the living proof of how the beginning is, how many times you are going to get something wrong, how many times you are going to test something and you are not going to like, how many times you are going to change everything. So I have changed the style of the video so far several times. I have changed the position of where I paint. I am acquiring new things on a budget because I cannot spend too much and I'm testing several ways of using it and even about my art I'm doing a lot of tests as well uh, the previous vlog uh, that I was looking for creativity and trying to find my own style I think it was vlog 3 uh, I was kind of sketching but I don't sketch I go straight in the paint to find something that was going to be different because I don't like so much to paint the skin tones I, I don't think it looks interesting the way that I do yet and I wanted to do a collection because I want to go professional and I don't want to go professional by monetizing my views I want to really sell my art somewhere, somewhere. and it could be prints, it could be originals this is something that I'm still going to try, I'm still going to think about the strategy, but I needed to figure it out something different and something that I did like. And the lady I did first in more pop style, no skin tones at all, I didn't like, it didn't have any depth. Then I added some skin color to be a little bit more realistic, more like my style, and I was like, ah, okay, it's pretty, but now I'm not happy doing it. And I decided to go kind of monochrome, because I really felt good when I did my eccentric, eccentric portrait. Uh, I look at it and it calls a lot of tension, I see a lot of realism, and to be honest, I enjoy much more the process when I'm doing something monochromatic over colorful because I stress too much between the color mixing when I'm doing colorful and when I do monochromatic, it feels more intuitive, it feels more creative I can actually enjoy what I'm doing and in this case, I use three different colors uh, Rose, Mother, Antique uh, green, viridian green and white and I really like how the colors settled uh, and then I'm going to talk also a little bit about exploring new tools so I said that I was going to find ways of exposing myself and one of the things that I thought about was streaming and I was setting up my Twitch account you can see from the video that I'm going to show now, I left it with my branding and everything, so you can see it is a streaming. The problem between doing streaming and YouTube is because I don't have more cameras that I can use to make uh, a recording of really good quality and using along with the streaming. 
Uh, I also spent about one week figuring out how to configure my Twitch account because although I streamed for the first time on the previous video, uh, I did something very raw. I did on the cell phone with the free app of uh, Streamlabs and I didn't put anything in the front, uh, like what they call overlay. There was nothing much interesting besides just the painting. Although the quality and the lighting looked very, very good for a first time. After a lot of research, I found out an account that helped me a lot. It's called, uh, it is in YouTube, it's called Talk Custom. And the video, it's a series. I don't remember if it is uh, from 1 to 5 or 1 to 4. It's called Twitch Creative Tutorial Part 1, making an overlay, and from that you can see the others. I'm going to put in the description the link so you can check it out. The guy has a really good didactic that shows a lot of things. It's really easy to set up with him. And then what you have to, to think about is what do I want to use of everything that I have in there? One thing that I thought that I would like to use was the chatbot that he talks about, but he doesn't explain how to do it. It kind of didn't work for me. Just in case, if you're looking for that and you have a bad experience, you are not alone in that one. Another thing that I wanted to do is I wanted to use double cam because I know that about streaming, the people want to get together with you, they want to see how you do things. I spent a long time trying to figure it out a way to use my cell phone along with the webcam of my computer. And I was, I'll be honest, I did find a way to do it, but first, I don't know if it's the computer or the internet, whatever it was, it couldn't handle it. It was too much, there was too much delay, it was failing too much. And for someone watching, I think it was a terrible experience. So I did a few minutes on the other painting, I'm just going to show the picture here, so you can see how it looks like. And I decided to switch back to the option with one camera only. Another thing was... I installed so many different apps on my cell phone and my computer. I did so many changes on plugins and uh, drivers that at one moment it completely broke my configuration of uh, microphone. I could not use the microphone uh, of the headset. I could not join other meetings that I have to join for my university. I tried to uninstall and install back uh, the, the drivers of the computer, nothing worked, and I had to restore my computer. So, the way that I work now, it's the simplest one. I downloaded the Streamlabs, the free app, uh, on my cell phone. After all the training that I made with the talk custom videos, I realized that there was the option for overlay, and I decided to look for that in the app. I did find I, I did that configuration, it looks like the previous video that you saw, uh, where you can see on the left side the menu with my branding, with my contact, and that is great. I use my cell phone and that's it. The only problem is if you want to record your screen, in case you want to have something that doesn't go through the internet. The button to broadcast or stop broadcasting disappears. You have to first start broadcasting to then enable the, the screen recording and to stop the broadcast, stop the screen recording and then stop the broadcast or just close the app. Uh, I'm really happy with the result of that one. I'm actually already working on the next one. And if you have any questions about my experience so far with the Twitch or with the tools, I'm really happy with the flexible arms. It helped me to do a lot of movements with the camera while I was painting. I like the final results. If you do like, please comment, follow or subscribe.
and I hope you had a great week and bye bye.